NASA, upon learning of this anti-satellite test right. in 1985, is actively designing the forthcoming space station. And it considered how it might alter that design to make it resistant, resistant. to debris that it might encounter. Okay. And to this day, you can find pockmarks on the outer shell. So that's in the 1980s. Right. Before China had anything space related. Right. Okay. So saying, hey, China's not even a player yet. Wow. Okay. So then we're okay with that. There it is. All right. The, the years go by. In the, we finish out the 80s, then the 90s, then the 2000s, and then lo and behold, China did it. It would have been not so bad, except that their satellite was much higher in orbit where there's hardly any air molecules to slow down the pieces and have, have them re-enter. Re right, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the ones, the very high up ones in geosynchronous orbit, they're pretty safe. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. Right. They're just looking down. Yeah, and right they there. stay in the same spot with the Earth exactly, no matter what. Exactly, So, so they're just, they're, they're chilling. They're cool. Uh, middle Earth orbit, uh, those are the ones, if you destroy them, the particles never leave. Right. And low Earth orbit, if you destroy them, they'll fall out eventually, not immediately. Right. So maybe we're saved by the fact that yeah, they'll come, come out a little fa de faster before yeah. they put other satellites in harm's way. The smithereens that became of that Chinese satellite, most of them are still in orbit. But, okay, we we didn't want to risk harm of this actually colliding to Earth. But did ours de-orbit? Yeah, at so ours was a low enough Earth orbit, so probably none of those particles remain in orbit. U-S-A. U-S-A. <laughs>